So plant it up your plants, especially carnivorous plants because peat settles so much and they sink. What do you do? I'm about to show you. So it's not the end of the world. It's actually pretty easy to do this. I, I've done it a couple times before, but all I'm going to do is take this, I'm going to cut around the plant, and then I'm going to reach up under it and get all of the roots and just lift it up. And then I'll add extra uh, medium around it. So let's get started on this one. I'm going to just go around. And I'm going to cut, use this to cut into the pea. And be careful, don't hit the plant. You don't need to get all that close. I'm just cutting to make it easier to pull it up. Go down deep as you think the roots are. And then, I just, I'm just going to take my hands and reach down and pull it up. To about right there. Now it's level. That's it. And then you can just take everything that's around it and stuff it up under it. And that'll hold it up while you backfill it with more medium. Now that it's, it's packed in now. Now, now I'll just take more medium, pack it in. Good to go. Part of this project for me too is I'm gonna actually pull some peat away from the plant. I'm gonna throw some live sphagnum around it. All right, folks, I'm gonna actually give you a bird's eye view of what I'm doing on this one. So remember, like I said, we're gonna cut around it, cut around the plant. Go in as about as deep as you think the roots are. This plant actually has a pretty deep root system, so I'm, I'm going down pretty far. Now you don't wanna get too close and cut the roots. So be careful of that. That was probably a little too close, so I came out some. So then after I got those cuts, I'll just push my fingers into the incision <clears throat> and then pull it up. And then I'm scooping it up as I go so I can continue to grab the roots. So now that's about as high as I want it. So now I'm just pulling the dirt away from it, moving it out the way. Cause just like I did the other one, I'm going to put sphagnum around it. There you go. So that one is about where I want it. I can just leave this dirt in the, in the middle because we're just going to backfill with some more. So again, cut around it. And you can do this with any plant, not just carnivorous plants. But that's what we that's what we're here to talk about. 
So I'm reaching in, reaching up under that root ball. Uh-oh, this one's deep. There he is, I got it. So when you saw it pop up, that means I got up under the roots. <clears throat> Same game, I'm just gonna pull. Man, that, that sand in there looks really good. Can y'all see that? Look at that, still nice and crumbly. <clears throat> Sorry for my voice, man, our sinuses are killing me. The pollen's back pollen season here in North Carolina. Out here in Venus flytrap country. And if you didn't know, North Carolina is the actual home state of the famous Venus flytrap. Most of us already knew that, but somebody here didn't. It's always nice to learn something new. So, Throw the sphagnum around it. Let me just pack it in. That's one step that I skipped. And you can see my fingers just shooting straight to the bottom. Pack it back in around the roots so you don't have any air pockets. I'm not even gonna water this in because it's supposed to rain like tomorrow and all day. I mean tonight and then all day tomorrow. So I'm not even gonna really worry about watering it in. I'll let mother nature take care of it. And then we're just going to clump this right here around it. It's probably a little higher than, probably a little low, I mean, boom. Hey, I, I apologize for not recording this part. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just cut the camera off and kept working. But I'm just uh, putting a light dusting of dry sphagnum on the whole thing. And then I'm going to lay the live stuff on top of it. Like that. And then... which is why it's not sticking right now. The live stuff isn't sticking.